Hello everyone, Fred here again, and today I'll be discussing the benefits of using an external hard drive to store your DAW's audio files. But before we get started, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and also hit that notification bell so you'll know when new videos drop on my channel. Well, if you're like me, you invested a lot of time and money into getting your DAW set up properly to help you create whatever it is you create. With music creation being the priority, as it should be, we often overlook mundane system-like things like how to manage your DAW's audio data. Whether you're using Studio One or any other DAW, how you manage your audio data affects how your system performs. To understand this, let's break down how Macs and PCs work. Your computer is made up of a CPU or processor, fast memory or RAM, and storage devices like SSDs and hard drives. These hardware components work together to manage various software components like Mac OS or Windows 10, your DAW application, and all the files that your DAW uses. These file types include plugins, virtual instruments, presets, and audio files. Of all these file types, your DAW's audio files usually take up the most space and are written to and read from most frequently. Now before we dive deeper, let's quickly discuss the two types of storage devices, SSDs and hard drives. SSDs are made up of stacks of memory chips that provide super fast access to data stored on them. They can be a bit pricey when you get into the one terabyte range and above, so generally they're not really practical for data storage. But they are great for storing operating systems and application files, giving you real fast boot times and great software performance. Hard drives, on the other hand, are more affordable and consist of a physical memory disk with a mechanical arm that reads and writes files on that disk. Hard drives are usually the more practical choice for storage of your DAW's audio files. When designing a computer system for a specific function like music creation, video production, or gaming, it's important to design it to deliver optimal performance. This usually includes using multiple hard drives to distribute the workload so that your CPU and RAM perform in the most efficient manner possible. You're probably asking, why doesn't a single hard drive system deliver optimal DAW performance? As I mentioned before, a hard drive has this mechanical arm that moves back and forth to read and write data. If it's doing this for your operating system, DAW, plugins, virtual instruments, and audio files, that's a major burden you're putting on one read-write arm. By moving your audio files to their own hard drive, you're splitting the work between two read-write arms, with your main drive handling OS and application functions, and your external drive only managing your audio files. The optimal setup would be to use an SSD for your main drive, which stores your operating system, DAW application, virtual instruments, and plugins, then set up a fast external hard drive, or audio drive, if you will, to store your audio files. By fast, I mean 7200 RPM. It's also very important to have a fast connection between your external hard drive and your Mac or PC. It's best to choose USB 3 speed or higher to achieve usable performance. If you can use a drive with Thunderbolt or eSATA interface, that's even better. Most DAWs make it very simple to set up an external drive. Here's where you set it up in Studio One to point to an external drive, and these finder paths point to OWCHD, which is a 500 gigabyte USB 3 hard drive where I store my song files. So in summary, I highly recommend using a two-drive configuration to optimize your DAW's performance. If at all possible, use an SSD for your OS, apps, plugins, and virtual instruments, and then a fast external hard drive for your audio files. I hope this video was helpful, and please drop any questions in the comments below, and please share the drive setup that you're using for your DAW, and let us know how you have that configured. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Thanks for watching, and I hope this information was helpful. Please don't hesitate to post questions in the comments below or email me at the address listed here. If you like what you saw, please take a second to click the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your home studio.